Following the long dry summers of 1975 and 1976, which brought great hardship and inconvenience to the residents and particularly the farming community of the local district, it was decided to establish a group water scheme in the Duhamlet area. The inaugural meeting of the Duhamlet group water scheme was held on September the 30th, 1977. The task of collecting engineers' fees, choosing a suitable source, acquiring a site for the reservoir, securing way leaves for pipelines, etc., fell to this committee. With a connection fee of £550, it wasn't easy going and there was a low uptake in the early stages. Despite these problems, the work of establishing the scheme continued. A number of water sources and sites for a reservoir were discussed. It was decided that the water from the Tome Crinkle Lake and the reservoir sited at Caudry Duff would be the best combination. In February 1979, construction began on a pump house beside Tome Crinkle Lake on a site secured from the late George Carlew and his wife Sadie. The lake, which covers an area of 27 acres and is over 25 feet deep, has a capacity of over 30 million gallons. In March 1979, Riversdale Concrete began construction of a 75,000 gallon reservoir at Cordary Duff, which is located in the southern end of the Duhamlet area at a height of over 600 feet and approximately one and three quarter mile from the lake. On the 23rd of April, the contractors, John Connolly and Noel Lear, started work laying the rising main and approximately 25 mile of distribution network, stretching from Killycard on the Blaney side to Knocknamaddy near Bally Bay and extending from Cromartin in the north to Sheen in the south. In July 1999, our scheme was officially registered as a cooperative. Do Hamlet Group Water Supply Scheme is managed by a board of directors elected from the membership of the scheme at the annual general meeting. As new regulations in regard to water quality standards were introduced, it was envisaged that Do Hamlet would be supplied with water from the County Council scheme at Kilkit. However, over time circumstances changed and we were able to join the County Monaghan DBO Bundle project, which provides full water treatment to group schemes throughout the county. Work began preparing the site for a new treatment plant towards the end of October 2002. The new treatment plant was officially opened on the 17th of November 2003. The treatment plant has the capacity to treat 775 cubic metres per day and is operated by an outside contractor, Veolia Ireland Limited, who specialises in managing water treatment facilities. In 2006, a new 180,000 gallon reservoir was constructed at Cordray Duff by Shea Martha Limited. With water quality now going through the network, a strategy to introduce effective management of drinking water supplies and to ensure an equitable charging system, all connections, both domestic and non-domestic, have now been metered and all charges are based on meter readings. Bulk meters have also been strategically located, which allows for early identification of leaks in the wider distribution network. Metering has led to real savings. Similarly, householders, farmers and business outlets can use their meters to ensure that water is not wasted and that costs are kept down. A quality assurance training programme was undertaken by the Board of Directors in early 2007. This provides a standard operations procedure and checklist for group water schemes. It assists in maintaining water quality from the source to consumer's tap by putting in a number of control measures. Testing is carried out on a weekly and monthly basis. An approved independent laboratory is used for this work. This is to ensure that the quality falls within the strict guidelines laid down by the European Drinking Water Directive, the Department of the Environment and Monaghan County Council. Monaghan County Council also carries out a random sampling programme on the water supplied by the scheme. 
Source protection is the topic at the moment and we the board are awaiting a report which has been carried out by the Centre for Freshwater Studies at the Dock Institute of Technology. While Tom Crinkey Lake is the main source of supply to the Hamlet Group Water Supply Scheme, the total catchment area of water supply covers an area of 700 hectares. It extends from Lagan in Annamullen Parish across the R181 Castle Blaney to Loch Hagish Road and follows the valley leading eventually to the lake. This area covers a range of farming activities and includes a number of busy roads carrying a range of vehicles with possible hazardous loads. The danger of pollution from any of these activities is a constant threat to the scheme. In effect, careless farm practice or a traffic accident involving a tanker within 7 km south or southwest of the Tome Crinkle Lake would have a devastating effect on the water supply. The best defence against this is early warning of any possible dangers to the source. Members of the public and in particular consumers should contact the scheme immediately on hearing or witnessing any possible contamination to the supply. Our current membership is 387 members with 537 individual connections spread over 50 townlands. To date, approximately 1,417 million gallons of water has been pumped around the scheme. Average consumption for 2008 was 126,000 gallons per day, or 46 million gallons for the year. The reservoir, rising main and distribution lanes are managed and maintained by the scheme itself. Meters are read quarterly and bills issued half yearly. Repairs to the network are carried out as a matter of urgency with limited disturbance to the consumers on the branch concerned. Conservation of water is a major concern for the scheme as every bleater passing through the network costs money to treat and supply. In addition, there is the danger that the source may run dry during a prolonged period of drought. It is important for us all to protect and conserve our environment. Wastage of water places an unnecessary burden on energy demands used to pump the water to the reservoir and then to treat the excess wastewater. Some simple measures to conserve these scarce resources are easy to follow but nevertheless very effective. Informing the scheme of any leaks on the distribution network is an effective way of saving large volumes of water. This is noticeable by large wet patches on the road during a dry spell. In some severe cases, the water may be seeping from the road. Don't assume someone else will inform the scheme. Contact the outdoor staff. Their phone number appears on the head of the bill received twice yearly. Farmers should regularly check their cattle drinkers and on-farm distribution network for possible faulty joinings. This is particularly important just after a period of frosty weather. By placing a half litre bottle of water in your cistern, the average household can save three and a half thousand litres of water per year. Placing two bottles would save twice this amount and would result in a total saving to the scheme of over a million litres per annum. Other water saving ideas include not leaving the tap running while brushing your teeth. Leaving it running results in each brushing wasting around 30 litres. Always make sure the dishwasher and washing machines are fully loaded before completing a wash cycle. These machines use on average 50 litres per wash. Placing a jug of water in the fridge eliminates the necessity to run the tap to get a cool refreshing drink. Having a shower uses approximately 35 litres whereas a bath uses 70 litres. Replacing the daily bath with a shower could result in a saving of 12,000 litres per annum. If we all just do a little to conserve our precious resources, it adds to a lot and hopefully results in a cleaner, safer environment for generations to come. Looking to the future, the scheme faces the daily challenge of providing a constant supply of quality drinking water to its consumers. These challenges are addressed by having a robust quality assurance system in place and close management of the distribution network. 
the installation of a new rising main to take the water from the treatment plant to the reservoir remains a priority. Achieving this goal depends very much on future funding from central government. The scheme has all the initial priority work carried out and must now adopt a wait and see approach. Increasing awareness among the consumers of water conservation is seen as a priority by the scheme. While it might appear sometimes that we have too much water in Ireland, the supply of quality drinking water is quite small. Small changes on an individual basis can add up to big savings over the total membership of the scheme. The tips shown in this video are simple pointers to the direction we all need to go in, in order to make savings to the costs of providing a valuable resource. We hope you have enjoyed this look around to Hamlet Group Water Supply Scheme and it instills a sense of awareness that this is our scheme run by local people for the local community.